Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Uh, here with another vendor wax haul video. So this will focus on a ready to ship order that I did from L3 Waxy Wonders in June. I did it literally just after we got back from Bali. So I think it was, yeah, it was the Saturday. So we arrived the Friday, very little sleep, like absolute zombie. Saturday, I was still pretty tired. We had a little bit, we had a bit of money left over from the holiday. We didn't spend everything. Um, and I still haven't gone crazy on wax. Like literally these are the only two things I think I've ordered. But I, you know, just went onto the L3 site a few hours after I think a, a restock and had a look through. I hadn't looked in ages and there was just so much good stuff. So um, I kind of went in and just went, well, I'm just not going to stop, you know, I'm not going to put any limits on. I'm just going to see what I come out with. And yeah, so um there was like four and a half bags of like this. And some of them are bigger than that. Um, I really like my forward this time around. I packed everything really nicely in these. I love it when they use these bubble wrap satchels. Um, and like they sorted them into different like, sh you know, different types. I feel like this time of year at my forward. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera a bit. Um, I feel like this time of year at the forwarder, it's like a quiet time because I find that things that I ship out sort of mid-year during, you know, US summer do tend to be packed and wrapped really nicely. Not that they're ever packed badly, but just they take that extra care and they use extra packing materials and stuff. Whereas the stuff that comes in summer, you don't, I mean, sorry, my summer, your whatever, winter, Christmas, you know, that holiday season, um, that tends to, when they're under more pressure, they don't seem to, you know, anyway. I'm rambling. So samples, I'm sure there was like, you know, L3 normally has a sticker and stuff, but like I said in the Rose Girls video, I was tired, I got home, I just unloaded all of the wax. I think there's still invoices and bits and pieces at the bottom of the box and I just haven't got to that. So let's look at the samples. So the first one is called Take a Hike. No idea what this is. The name does not ring a bell. It's, it's nice. Very, I don't know if it's fir tree, it's trees. But with a kind of masculine lean to it. I like that. Can't think of, I think there's a slight dirt or grassiness, but it's not super heavy, you know. It's good. It's really good. Um, watermelon, pomegranate, and lemon curd. Um, I don't know how I'll feel about this. I'm not a big fan of watermelon. Ah, nope, 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 nope. The, it's like watermelon, but sour, and then it, kind of brings out the worst of the pomegranate. Like, pomegranate I don't mind, but there's some lurking aspects to the scent that I don't love. Um, and I feel like all of the stuff that is good about pomegranate completely wiped in there, and all I can smell is the bad parts. So, that is a no. For me, um, blackberry lemon curd zucchini bread. I'm pretty sure I've had this combo before. It is a good one. It's not an absolute favourite, considering I do love zucchini bread and I do love a good fruity scent. I do find that this one is just a little bit, the fruitiness is just, it's a bit much. Like, it's not bad, but lemon curd sometimes can just be a little bit overwhelming for my nose. And I do find that happens with the blackberry lemon curd combos a little bit for me. So it's not bad, but I've had it before. It's like, it's alright. It's just okay. Alright, um, so that's the samples, and now I'm going to work my way through everything else that I got. Um, so I've got one bag unpacked, one of those little satchels unpacked because it was like 50% Rose Girls, 50% um, L3. So I've already unpacked it. So the first thing I have here is a puppy pack in cashmere, cedar, Egyptian cotton, and vanilla bean noel. So this was just one of those scents that just kind of intrigued me. I will say this L3 order is going to be quite fun because I think there is a lot of bleds in here that I haven't tried before. The last big L3 ready to ship I did was mostly things that 
Um, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna take my feet off and this will keep moving. I apologize. Um, the last L3 order I did was a lot of stuff that there was a lot of blends that I had tried before and I loved, which is also fun, but sorry. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, and this one I went because I've had a sample with Egyptian cotton and I really enjoyed it. And so I went, well, cashmere seed is a really good scent. This could actually work out really nicely. It's interesting that this is all well, like, looks like it's already picked up like some light damage, which is fine. It just doesn't normally happen that quickly. Yeah, this is really nice. I don't know what it is about that Egyptian cotton scent. It's just... It's a really unique... I don't know. It's not laundry-ish. Like, it's not your typical cotton scent. It's just really nice. Kind of dry, but in a really good way. I suppose that's the cotton. Cotton linen scents tend to be dry, but this one, I don't know. It's just a certain cologne... That smells good. And I can smell the cashmere cedar in here as well. I think the Egyptian cotton comes through stronger. But yeah, the cashmere cedar works really well. This is really nice. This is a blend I will enjoy a lot. Alright. Um, banana nut bread. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, and brown sugar. So banana nut bread is a scent that... It's one of those ones I always want to love. And I never quite get there. Um, but so I don't generally buy banana y type blends. But this one I went zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, brown sugar, just the absolute denseness of that, just to anchor out the, ban the banana nut bread. I went, that actually could be a real winner for me. Yeah, I think this might be the scent that makes me enjoy banana bread. I mean, I can smell the banana, but it's just, this is zucchini bread heavy. It's, it's bakery. It's got that delicious brown sugar. And then there's just a bit of banana there. I like this a lot. I don't know who came up with that one, but that is like perfect. And to be honest, I would probably do zucchini bread, vanilla, butter fudge and brown sugar in other combos as well. I love zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, two of my favorite bakery scents right now. Brown sugar is always a welcome addition just for a little bit of, like it's sweet, but it doesn't, I don't know, it just works. And yeah, so love that. I got another pack of this. I do have a pack already. Um, Asian sandalwood bamboo riverbank. So I got this in a sampler a while ago. Absolutely loved it. When I saw it was still on the website, I was like, yes, I need to get another bag. Mmm. This epic green, fresh, yeah, just absolute amazing. Bamboo is just such an underrated, fresh scent. I feel like that's what does a lot of the work here. Asian sandalwood. Asian sandalwood can be quite overpowering, but in here it just works. It's not Asian sandalwood heavy if you've tried that before. But I do think it adds an intro, really kind of just different twist to the blend. So I love that. I haven't even melted the other bag I've got yet because I do... I think I got the last one in kind of April and I was just letting it cure. So I will probably melt that soon. This one is also one that I have some of and always will love more. Palo Santo Vanilla Butter Fudge. I actually melted this one like last week. And it is just... Such a good combo. I think I've recommended this a lot of times, just as a, if you love bakery and Palo Santo together, vanilla butter fudge and Palo Santo. It's not complicated. If you, you have to like to really smell the Palo Santo in that blend. So if you only like a subtle sort of Palo Santo, maybe not for you, but if you love a bakery scent with a lot of Palo, this one is, this is your combo. So I love that. Not just from L3. It's pretty much any vendor that has those two oils, slap them together. Cinnamon chai, gold sugar, and vanilla sandalwood. So I was intrigued by this. Cinnamon chai, very nervous about. Chai scents often don't work for me. Cinnamon often also doesn't work for me. But I do love gold sugar and vanilla sandalwood. And I went, 
if those two things come out, then I could see them really kind of balancing and dialing down the heavy spice of a chai, um, a cinnamon chai. And I think this might actually work. It definitely has a strong spicy chai, but it's a good one. My problem with chai and wax, because I love the smell of chai in real life, but I find most wax chais smell really, they smell artificial and super sweet. Just so, so sweet. Um, so I really dislike them. But this cinnamon chai kind of smells legit. And then with the sandalwood, like, it's it's giving me hippie market vibes. Like, there's a particular market, which I haven't been to in ages. I really need to get there again. Um, there's this market, and it's that we used to go to all the time, and really strong kind of hippie vibes. And I just, you know, there's a place that used to do sell super strong chai, absolutely crazy strength. Like, you could smell it halfway down the market. Um... And this, and I think when I bought this, that's kind of what I had in my head was just that whole place because I love it. Um, and I think this gets it. The gold sugar, I do think it's in there, and I do think it's kind of lightening things up a little bit, stopping it from doing being too heady, too heavy, too overwhelming. But it's not, you know, super noticeably gold sugar, you know. Another one that so there are a few repeats. In here but just not 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 everything uh, so black sugar blue sugar exotic coconut uh, I got this I think firstly as a sample and like someone else must have had it loved it then I got a doggy bag so I got my own custom in it and then I bought another pack of the tarts and now this one because this is just warm fuzzy I've often said, for some reason, I really enjoy melting this on an overcast day. Like, not a cold day, necessarily. Um, because I feel like with the exotic, co the coconut, that kind of... It's really trans-seasonal. It's really hard to explain. But for me, the weather in autumn, when the days are starting to get a bit warmer, it's not cold, but it's not really warm, but it's really grey... And you kind of want something comforting and cozy, but that isn't like really heavy winter um, or, you know, or even like autumn. You don't want heavy spices or anything like that. This one is, am I thinking autumn? No, I'm thinking spring. Both, really, because we kind of get that weather at both ends, right? Like just that sort of weather. That's what that scent is for, for me. And in Melbourne, we get a lot of that kind of weather, so it doesn't hurt to have a lot of a scent like that. All right, so I've got pineapple and brown sugar. Simple. I love pineapple. I will say L3 is maybe not strong enough, but still love it. This one's all really small little puppy pack shapes, um, which is super cute, but I find it hard to calculate how much I need to put in the warmer. This does smell really good. It is mostly pineapple, but... Richer, sweeter, a bit more syrupy, beautiful. So hopefully this one throws, because like I said, her pineapple has not done amazingly for me, but it does smell really good. Okay, so now let's do this bag. This is Bougie Bars, and there's a few. Not a small order. Um, and I've forgotten what most, I've pretty much forgotten everything I got. Um, yeah, this box, this whole box definitely get a, did get a bit cooked. Not badly, just, you know, like the bars are a bit bent. So this is mango cooler. No, mango coconut cooler, lemon sugar cake batter. Let me start that again. Mango, co mango coconut cooler, lemon sugar cake batter, and jet puff mallow. That was a mouthful for some reason. So my slightly bendy bougie bar. So the reason I went for this one, I, like I said, I love mango. Um, mango and lemon sounded pretty good. Mango bakery, just, I'm into that kind of stuff, you know. This is really nice. I'm going to really enjoy this in summer. It's pretty much exactly that. It is a mango lemon. Like, it's lightly bakery, but 
more kind of fruity, but just a nice kind of baked, like the cake batter just, yeah, just gives it a light kind of bakery anchor to it, but it's still fruity, but it's not just fruity. Can't really tell you what the coconut cooler is, or I'm not familiar with it, what it smells like, don't know, but I do like that one a lot. Pretzel, zucchini bread, brown sugar. So, look, this one was a bit of a gamble. Love zucchini bread. Love it with brown sugar. Pretzel, generally speaking, no. But there have been some blends that have surprised me recently. So that's why I went. Let's try. Yeah, I don't know. Could be too strong on the pretzel. It's borderline. The zucchini bread, the brown sugar, smells really good. I will try it. No, the more I smell it, the more I think I'm actually okay with it. I really used to dislike pretzel. I just did not like it at all. I still don't really like it on its own, but I'm kind of coming around to it in a good bakery blend. So, there you go. Um, so, I, I think that one actually works. Huckleberry Harvest Fizzy Soda Salty Sea Air. So Huckleberry Harvest, I've had in one blend before. It was like a jelly donut blend, and it was amazing, but never encountered it any, in any other form. Um, so the idea of it with the Fizzy Soda and Salty Sea Air intrigued me, but I like a good sweet Salty Sea Air. So. Mm, this is really nice. Very, very heavy on the Salty Sea Air, I would say. And the fizzy. It's a very salty sea air fizzy scent. I can smell huckleberry. I can smell berry, but it does not pop over the fizzy salty sea air. Probably would be better if the huckleberry was a little bit stronger, but it is good. And, I mean, I would probably be down with just a fizzy soda salty sea air scent. Um, but... Yeah, so I would like the huckleberry to come through a little more. Hopefully it does when I warm it up, um, but it is good. Pardon me. Uh, Mallow Fireside Ozone Bourbon Wood Smoke. So wood smoke, love that oil, favorite smoky scent. Mallow Fireside's are always good. Ozone for a bit of freshness. Bourbon's the wild card. I don't really know how that's going to work out in this, but... Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. It takes a little while to develop. Like, it could be, I don't want to say it's subtle, but it just, it's not in your face. Like, but it just kind of builds, like you've got this smoking, like the wood smoke kind of appears and then you get a bit more, a bit of a sweeter smoke. The ozone, you start to pick up the, then you start to pick up the ozone. So like the slight, it's not heavy, but just a slight. It's like it's smoky, but then you can also smell a bit of fresh air too. Just a very slight crispness, you know. And I don't know about bourbon. I'm sure it's here. I'm sure it's doing something. No, it is, but it's, it's definitely subtle this is definitely like smooth sweet smoky with a touch of fresh and a touch of something else which is the bourbon so i like that um that one's gonna be a really fun winter melt it feels very kind of winter atmospheric you know uh strawberry pound cake pumpkin pecan waffles and cookie therapy so actually i mean i've done strawberry pound cake pumpkin pecan waffles plenty of times before Never thought to pair it with cookie therapy, but cookie therapy is a good bakery blender for me. It's like, it's got shortbread cookies, it's got pretzels, something else. It was the first blend that I kind of realized, hey, pretzels can be okay. It's not bad. The cookie therapy is really strong, and I feel like the pretzel is even stronger in it than usual. It's a bend. But then the more you smell it, the more you can kind of smell that strawberry. The L3 strawberry pound cake I do find quite artificial. Like, I would love this combo if the strawberry pound cake was, like, one of the strawberry pound cake oils that I prefer. 
but this is still really good. Like you start to get that kind of rich waffliness and I like that. It's built, it's growing on me. It was growing on me as I was smelling it. Um, ooh, that's cute. But it's from <laughs> Rose Girls. Sorry, there was a card in here. And I was like, ooh, is that a new L3 card? No, that was from Rose Girls. All good. All right. It's a bag of chunks. Chunk bag. And some cloud cakes, I think. Not just chunks. So. God, the chunk. I forget how big the chunks are. Uh, so the first one is fresh picked strawberries, sugar cakes, and mango sorbet. God, this is massive. This is bigger than I the chunks used to be, I swear. Super cute too. I love, I don't know, I just love wax with chunks in it. It's just so fun to look at. Mm, yep, this is really good. This perfect mango with a bit of fruit. Couldn't really tell you what sugar cakes is doing, what it smells like. This is just amazing strawberry mango. Oh, really good. <laughs> I'm really going to have fun. This one will be great to blend as well as Mount Solo. Like, I could see this one... You know, if I wanted some summer bakery, I could blend it with some bakery scents. If I wanted it to be fizzy, I could blend it with like a ginger ale or a fizzy soda. If I like that one, could I just feel like? And again, I don't know if it needs the sugar cakes or not. Maybe that's an essential thing. It's holding it all together. Or maybe you could just do fresh picked strawberries and mango sorbet. Don't know, but that that is good. I said it was a bag full of chunks. It's actually only like two chunks and the rest is cloud cakes and a couple other things. So this one is blackberry jam, butter cookies, lemon curd and sugar shortbread. So um, I was going to say something about this but it slipped my mind. I don't love it. Um, the lemon curd again really strong so like i was mentioning with like the lemon black lemon curd blackberry i just find the lemon curd very abrasive i find it very sweet and very tart at the same time and i love a good lemon scent um lemon curd so i find l3s in particular is a bit more abrasive than some there are some vendors who have a softer lemon curd um but it also depends on what you blend it with but here it's kind of pulling out like the worst of blackberry jam. Like it's the blackberry jam butter cookies. I don't know. I will try melting it. But blackberry jam butter cookies can take a bit of an artificial tone. And I feel like it's really pulling that out. So I don't know. We'll try. We'll see. Another puppy pack. So this one is sea kelp Pacific Wood Salty Sea Air. So pretty much... Salty Sierra and Pacific Woods are two of my, like two of my favorite L3 oils. So seeing them in here together immediately, it was like, yes, must have that. Didn't really even process the fact that sea kelp was in there as well. Don't have a problem with that though. Oh, yes, just salty oceanic pine, like complex woody bracken grass pine love that like it's kind of simple but also really complicated like not complicated there's a lot of outdoorsiness in there but at the same time it's simple it's the ocean and the trees love that vanilla balsam cinnamon sugar and mellow fireside so love vanilla balsam just Trees and vanilla, sweetness, really beautiful. Cinnamon sugar, definitely one of my preferred cinnamon scents because it's not really spicy. It's cinnamon sugar, it's sort of sweet and warm. And the mellow fireside, nice kind of sweet smokiness to the mix. Yeah, it's good. Um, it took me a while to process. I was like, is vanilla balsam there? I was like, oh, there it is. Definitely there's like a sharpness to it with the cinnamon. I'm hoping that settles just a little bit. I wanted the cinnamon to be there, but not like, you know, super cinnamony. I wanted it to be more kind of cozy, vanilla, smoky vanilla balsam. 
But no, this it is good. This is really nice. So definitely very seasonal kind of thing, but I'm in the right season for that now. So Santal smoked vanilla pa uh, Palo Santo. So Santal, I don't know. It's kind of like a it's a woody scent, but it tends to be very like perfumed. I find smoked vanilla is very smoky, kind of almost incense-like scent sometimes, I think. And Palo Santo, her Palo is linked with a bit more like incense as well. So I was thinking this one would be very kind of smoky. It's actually not, it's not as strong as I was thinking it would be. I mean, it, it is, it smells like incense. But it's quite muted and I'm not quite sure why. It's pretty and it's a bit woody and it smells a bit like intense but yeah not as strong as I would have thought although that said I don't know I think Santal's not the strongest we'll see. we shall see or maybe I'll let that sit for a little bit I feel like I'm not even halfway I don't know um Palo Santo vanilla bean marshmallow apple cider donut and brown sugar I don't know I love Palo blends I just you know, there was a few things in here that sounded good. The little bags. I do wish the cloud cakes came in slightly bigger bags. They, it's really hard to get them in here, but. Ooh. This is nice. It's, I feel like the brown sugar and like the vanilla bean marshmallow. I'm getting like a marshmallow a brown sugary marshmallow scent but not like that makes it sound like it's super sugary it's not because then you get the apple cider and the palace so the, the slightly woodiness and the i mean apple cider donut so it's bakery like you know i i like that i really like that i haven't smelled anything like it before it's good Really, really good. So hard to seal the cloud cake bags. Anyway. And I got a lot of cloud cakes. So you'll get to see me struggle with these for the next few minutes. Beach Nights. Bomb de Bright. Um, blue Agave and Cacao. So I'm a fan of the L3 Beach Nights more so than any other vendor's Beach Nights because it mostly smells like salty sea air and I just love salty sea air. So. And this mostly smells like... I was going to say it mostly smells like the Beach Nights, but it doesn't. But I guess because I was just thinking about saltiness, I was like, I can smell saltiness, but it's absolutely not. It's not salty sea air, and it's not just beach nights. There's a real. It smells like warm and kind of tropical island on a hot night. I can kind of smell a little bit of like a floral, I suppose. It's really pretty. It's quite. I say sexy, and it is, but it's not in, like, a really heavy way. It does give me, like, a real Tropical Nights vibe. I like that. Again, that one very, will be really nice in summer. Um, it would be a really nice perfume to wear out. Like, I'm picturing that one as something that, like, I would want to wear out at night. Like, if I was going to some sort of event at the beach, which... I can't imagine happening, but if I was to do that, that's what I would want to wear as a perfume. Don't stack that wax on that wax. Bad idea. So, um, strawberry pound cake, key lime pie, warm vanilla sugar. So, I don't know. I've enjoyed a couple of key lime scents lately, so I think that's why I went for this. Warm vanilla sugar in a foodie bakery blend is always a red flag for me because I just, I know a lot of people love it, but I just don't think warm vanilla sugar goes with foodie bakery type scents. But anyway, yeah, unfortunately not. <laughs> um, 
The lime smells good. The strawberry pancake kind of goes well with it. But then the warm vanilla sugar smells like soap. I, I just, I don't know. It makes it smell like cake and soap. I might be able to melt this though. Because I really like the, the lime and the strawberry together. But just the soapy undertone. It gets me every time. Every time. So I might have to try and blend strawberry pancake and key lime pie with something else. And then that would be better for me. Yeah, I don't know. Warm vanilla sugar, I know it works for so many people in those types of blends, but for me, warm vanilla sugar just pulls soapy in those blends specifically. In a woodsy blend or a perfume-like blend, not so much. Kind of body care-like. I suppose that's the problem, maybe. Anyway, mango sorbet raspberry adipose. So I think I actually do, and it's got jet puff mellow. Oh, no, that's the adipose, sorry. Which is, so adipose is like a big mellow, marshmallowy kind of blend. Um, I think I've got some of this already. Yes, and I bought it to blend raspberry and mango. Smells amazing together. I think in the same way that fresh picked strawberries and the mango smell really good together as well. Like her mango sorbet. L3's mango sorbet is not actually my favourite mango sorbet oil. Um, I like the one from Rose Girls and K and that smell good shop. All seem to have pretty much the same one. And it's really mangoey, but it's creamy. The L3 one is less creamy. It is a little bit more kind of juice, juicy, mango, fruity. Um, and I really like it. I'm not saying it's a bad mango sorbet. I'm just saying it's not quite as good for me as those other ones. But I find that the L3 one blends with fruits other than blackberry because Rose Girls and that Smell Good Shop has my heart for the blackberry mango sorbets. But the for other fruits... For some reason, I really enjoy um, uh, L3's Mango Sorbet. So this, yeah, fan I got more of this because I was like, one little cloud cake, which is all I've got, to be able to melt it on its own, but also to blend it with zucchini bread, because that's how I love it, with the zucchini bread, um, needed more. So now I've got a bit more. A roasted coffee birthday cake and mellow fireside. So this one sounded right up my alley. I mean, birthday cake, not so much, but roasted coffee, my favorite coffee oil with mellow fireside. That sounded amazing. Mmm, yep. Quite sweet, but the coffee is delicious and the mellow fireside, the smokiness of that is coming through really strong. And the sweetness is there, but because it's got the smokiness, it's not sickly. So, love that. Love, love, love that. So this bag, like, folded it on itself. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to check all of these cloud cake bags before I put them away, because I'm not sealing them properly. I can just tell. White wood salty sear cotton candy. So, again, I love a good, sweet, salty sear cotton candy scent. White woods, why not? When I put my YouTube videos up, um, because I so like you probably notice I don't edit. I'm not. I film and then I slap it up, um, and then I'll check like because I don't even do my own thumbnails. You know, I'm just I'm totally not, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, and sometimes like the thumbnails, it, it tends to pick like when my face is looking the most expressive. So I just feel like with this video, it's just going to be a selection of just the craziest faces with me ripping these um, cloud cake bags open. So that will be fun. This is nice. This is like, it's sweet, but it's a good level of sweet, like the cotton candy. It's definitely, it's, no, no, no I say definitely, what is it? So it's definitely sugary sweet cotton candy. The Salty Sierra, I've had it stronger. It's definitely there, but it's not like overwhelmingly strong. I wouldn't say I can smell like woodsiness, but there's definitely something just sort of wrapping the whole combo up, settling it down a bit. Yeah, so this is nice. It is nice. I'll fix this up later. All right, next bag. 
I only have two things there, two scoops. And then I got one more back. Big order. Some big. big order. Alright, what have we got here? Afterglow. So this one is Tonka Oud Cashmere Glow. So I went, if that's the Tonka and Oud oil that I'm pretty sure is in Khaleesi, I've, well, I know it's in Khaleesi from Teddy Bees. It's in, I've done it in the customer's cave. I just, I love the Tonka and Oud oil. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I was like, whoa. Oh. Interesting. Um... Yes, it is there. Sorry. First sniff, I couldn't smell that smell at all. I couldn't really tell what I was smelling. Yeah, warming that up, definitely I can smell it some more now. Oh, gosh, that's pretty. I don't know what cashmere glow is. So this just smells... I, I really couldn't do justice to this. If you know Tonka and Oud, it smells like Tonka and Oud plus... Something else that is complementary to Tonka and Oud. I don't know. It's Tonka and Oud actually. I feel like this scent is reminding me a bit of that Egyptian cotton scent. Again, indescribable. I couldn't describe the thing that I smell in both. Like, it's, it's woodsy. It's a very specific, very fragrant kind of woodsiness. I don't know. I really like it. Had to warm it up a lot to get it to pop out, but that is really, really good. And then the next one I have is Beach Nights Cotton Candy Zucchini Bread. So, same thing. Cotton candy with salty sea air blends. This one's, like, wavy at the top. I haven't had a scoop do that. Ah, oh, this is really nice. But it's really strongly zucchini bread. The first thing that hit me in the face was zucchini bread. And then as I smell it more, I can smell the beach nights and that sweet kind of cotton candy. But definitely very strong zucchini bread. Not complaining. Really good. Alright, last bag. I think it's mostly, if not all, Bitty Betty loaves. Oh no. Another um, one of these things. What do you call those things? Bunts. One more bunt pack. Zucchini bread. Lemon curd. I was on a bit of a lemon curd kick when I did this order. Wildberry mousse and salty sea air. I think I've had some real successes with lemon curd lately, but from not using L3's lemon curd. So, but that said, Zucchini bread is, you know, I find zucchini bread is a solid option against a strong lemon. And this is, this is working. This is good. I think I went with this one because everything else smelled, sounded amazing. Wildberry mousse is great. Salty sea air in that sounded really good. It's really good. <laughs> I can smell the salty sea air. It blends really nicely with the lemon. The lemon is not overpowering. The zucchini bread smells good. The wildberry mousse is there and adds a bit of sweetness, but it's not overpowering. Like, nothing in here is overpowering, but everything smells really good. Yep, I, I am a fan of that. That's the thing with lemon curd works. It's great, but it's got to be in the right scent, with the right oils, in the right amount. It's just Goldilocks for me with lemon curd. Uh, Dragonfly in Amber and Orchid Rain. So Dragonfly in Amber is Blackberry Amber and Sweet Lunar Eclipse. I really enjoy Blackberry Amber. Really pretty oil. And then I went, I think I've had it once in a rain scent. I don't know, Sassy Girl Aroma maybe, and I really enjoyed it. I know Orchid Rain is not like your typical rain scent, but still this sounded pretty. It is really pretty, <laughs> really, really nice. Again, very feminine, very perfume-like. But there is the Orchid Rain. Like it is, it's a floral rain scent. I, I love rain scents, and it's a very specific floral rain scent. Because it's orchids. 
I feel like I'm stating the obvious a lot tonight or not saying anything at all but anyway I can smell blackberry amber pretty really pretty couldn't really tell you about sweet lunar eclipse I don't know it's in there maybe adding to kind of the perfume like quality of this but really really nice I think I've had the dragonfly in amber with brown sugar and fig and that is nice but I think it's better with this better in this and then there's a candy that um, patchouli pink sugar palo santo I realize I don't think I've ever had a blend of that sounds simple enough sounds good but I've never done it sorry some of these ones have yeah kind of melted and stuck to the bag yeah this is good the patchouli is quite strong l3 does have a very strong patchouli i hope the pink sugar comes through stronger when it melts like i can smell it here but it's smelling more soapy than anything else so i'm getting a lot of patchouli um a little bit of parlo and then a kind of soapy flavor so soapy scent you know so we'll see it smells all right but i just would like more kind of sweet kind of girly funness in there would be good but we'll see getting close to the end five more scents i really lemon curd what did i do <laughs> Uh, lemon curd, blueberry cobbler, sweet cinnamon, zucchini bread. So again, this one I would have gone, well, there's lemon curd, but blueberry cobbler is strong. Um, cinnamon definitely would kind of cut down the lemon curdiness of the curd and then zucchini bread, you know. So I really did cut loose on this particular order. Just, I don't know, holiday brain still, um, holiday braining, I guess. Um, because I was just like, oh yeah, throw that in, throw this in, never mind, just, you know, that sounds good, off we go. This is interesting. It smells pretty good, actually. It was kind of spiced bakery, like the cinnamon and the zucchini bread together. A bit of zing from the lemon curd, but not too much. It's good. Definitely blueberry, but again, not too much. Everything just balancing each other out nicely there. A little tightrope kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's good. It's really good. Definitely, I think, I don't know. I'm guessing when this box came through from the forwarder, some of this stuff was on the edge and it did get a bit heat. Did. like not badly but just some of the discoloration and the things sticking together and I don't know why this year I forgot most years I remember um and it's not like it's not usually a major factor but it's just something I think about I'm sure you know you guys would as well like know that at that time of year these things happen um but I just completely forgot that there was a different season happening on the other side of the world um, so Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk, so <laughs> I bought two, and I already have, um, I want to say, two or three bunt packs left. Um, I've been through so much of this, it's just an absolute staple, favourite of mine, comfort scent, extreme comfort scent, like, it's the thing that I melt in my office if I'm working from home, and, oh, knock the camera again. If I'm working from home and I just don't feel it and I need something to just perk me up a little bit, this is the scent. It's warm, it's cozy, it's creamy, you know, it smells like, it smells like a spicy, delicious milk drink. I don't know. Love it. I just love it. Yeah, this one, it feels, it seems like it's like melted into the bag and around fine it's just a bit messy ah. okay so yes i got more of that like 
I do know I've got at least two more bunt packs left, so it wasn't in danger of, like, I wasn't too concerned about running out, because I do tend to only melt, not only, but I tend to generally melt it up here in my office, um, so I can enjoy it. But what that means is I go through it not as fast as some of my other scents because I'm not melting it down in the lounge room where I have three warmers or two warmers in the bedrooms or whatever. So um, I do, even though I melt it fairly regularly, I use not much every time. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, because I'm cutting back on my ordering, I don't know when I'm going to order from Elthra again. It might not be until my customs get called, which could be a while. I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyway, two more scents, and would you believe it, they both have lemon curd in them. So, lemon curd, sugar hookie, royale, and zucchini bread. Now, I will say that I have been really craving and hankering for a lemon cookie zucchini bread scent. I'm actually tempted to, uh, go to my Australian custom vendor, Pumpkin Parcel, and get her to do me a combo like that because I've just really wanted to melt that type of scent. So that's pretty much why I grabbed it. And it is good. Like, when it's not fighting... Yeah, a couple of the lemon curd scents, it just was blended with things that either rubbed it up the wrong way or just didn't, you know, overpowered it. But just simple bakery with lemon curd and the lemon curd is not overpowering it's really good so yeah like i said goldilocks scent it's got to be done absolutely perfect when it is it's really good so i'm glad that one is good because that's the kind of scent i've been really wanting so much i didn't i did not realize when i placed this order how much lemon curd was in there like i just did not but anyway it's the last scent Lemon curd, vanilla buttercream frosting, sugared shortbread, and zucchini bread. So, love vanilla buttercream frosting with sugared shortbread, zucchini bread. Three of my favorite scents. Bit of lemon in there. You know. Actually, this one. Is this the one I already have and I really love? Let me check. I can't find it, but I swear this is actually one I already have and have loved. And may have been part of the inspiration for why I went in all in on lemon curd yeah 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 this is it perfection because I love buttercream frosting with zucchini bread sugared shortbread great cookie blender really underrated um, and then the lemon curd because it kind of blends into this icing thing it's like a lemon icing it's so good yep that's that's the that's the best one that is the best one. Okay, that's it. That is everything that I got from L3. So lots of fun stuff there. Um, good mix of blends. Lots of stuff for summer, but some stuff for now. Very happy with everything that's there. Um, I'm ready to go to bed. So ready to go to bed. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.